we doing today? I don't know. Alright, what the heck is up guys? As you can see, the Craigslist Mercedes is right behind us. Today, we're going to attempt to do a paint job, somewhat of a paint job. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. He has no idea what he's doing. So we're going to wing it. Here's what we got. Let's take a look. I uh, went to Harbor Freight, got myself a $12 spray gun. Um, masks from Harbor Freight. Also, we have sanding discs, we have hard-boiled eggs, and we have the paint. Um, so we're going to wing it. Oh, I also have this super awesome, sweet plastic to uh, cover the stuff that we don't want to get paint on. Um, so I didn't show you guys the before on the reveal video, but this is the before. Um, it just looks a little junky. You can see the spray can lines, and then there's like graffiti on it, which I don't like that. Um, and then this, you can see that a little bit there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just basically redo the black. Anything that anything that's black, we're going to redo. Um, like this stuff here. Well, I don't even. Krista, Lynn, Christina was here. Tori was here. Like no, no, no. We got to get that off. Um, and then like all this will be clean, and then someone's old tag will be removed also. So anything black we're redoing, everything else will stay the same. So what I think that we're gonna do is try to step one, sand the car. Um, never did any body work before, so we're just gonna wing it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to fast forward just a little bit here to the uh, car. Um, we got it all sanded down. It's smooth. It's to what I would think would be okay for paint. Um, we obviously didn't go all the way down to bare metal because this is a uh, cheap project car, as you can see. And we have no idea what we're doing. But um, honestly, it kind of looks patinaed. You know, like it's sanded down, um, weathered, and looks war, like patina look, like kind of like the hood. It kind of works with the car. So me and old JB over there in the corner are liking the look of it like this. So what are we going to do? We're going to take it for a test ride. And we're going to take it up the hill to see what exactly our thoughts are out in the real world like this. You know, get it out of the garage and take a look. You ready? Let's go. You guys like the shifter? Thanks, look good? Looking good. Alright, here you go. Damn one. Forgot my phone. I need it. Do you need it? Yeah. Why? Wow. Kids these days can't remember a damn thing. Damn looks so cool. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Bud light. I drink one beer and one beer only. Bud Light. Alright guys, we gotta figure out a name for the old ride here. It has the bomb on the tail or on the trunk and Sharpie art, it's clear cutted. But right here on the center, it literally has a thing, a, a label maker thing, Merle Haggard. I think I fixed the turn signals. What was on The switch. If that switch is in between positions, the signals Which don't one? work. The this hazard one? light. Really? Yeah. If it's in between on and off, the turn signals don't work. I researched it last night, and I just tried my, tried my theory, and uh, it, it worked. She got a little bit of a kick. Oh, right she's there. a firm shifter. Look at that deer. Dude, we're cruising. Oh, we're going too fast. Hey, man. Am I driving okay? I mean, for a 1984, 300,000 miles, the car's pretty tight. Like, you hit bumps and stuff, and it's like, not like gonna fall Shit, apart. Yeah, yeah. Too bad. This was the car. This was the car to have, dude. 84 Mercedes diesel? Are you kidding me? Slugging like a tractor. How do you feel about the locally hated? You're asking me or the YouTube? Both. I don't know how I feel. 
about it. Might leave it on there because it covers up the uh, windshield crack. <laughs> She's lagging on power uphill. So this hill right here is going to be a uh, test. Especially with both of us in here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to hammer it down. See that? Let us know what she's hammered. All right, she's floored. We're flooring it. Oh, we're rubbing. Oh, dude. We hung with the old super duty, not a problem. Old Merle got the hills. Oh, should we cruise Main Street here? Can we do one cruise on Main Street? Yeah, I need to get on that end anyways. All right. This is the first public cruise. Look, there's people looking at us. The first public cruise in Merle. What's your thoughts? I'm loving it. Walk her up. Let's check her out. All right, guys, it's a little windy, um, but we have Merle out in the real world. The subtle's probably bad right there. Uh, we have Merle out in the real world. What do you think? I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm feeling on the patina. Not sure. What do you guys think? Nice park job, by the way, too. Look, we got our first fan in the car. Dude, stop taking a picture of it. All right, we're gonna cruise down uh, the main strip up here. See what everyone thinks of Merle. Like, they don't even wanna look, they're looking away. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny. She looked mad. Oh, they get mad. So angry. And our windows are like 2020 clear, so it's like maybe we should like tint the windows so like people can't see us. Yeah, maybe not tint the windows. Yeah, not only I think windows. I would just make it look like super chunky. Now, just oh, out of curiosity, he's, he's in a handicapped parking spot with a 10 inch lifted Dodge. Okay. In a handicap spot. Working the system. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Alrighty, guys. After further thought, um, Josh is gone. He rolled out. I think we're going to leave it the fake, like, sanded patina look. Um, I'm kind of depressed, though, that I didn't get to use my trusty, dusty $12 Harbor Freight spray gun. I was kind of excited to uh, spray something, but I don't know. Maybe we'll clear coat it. That's the great thing about this thing here is that we can do whatever we want. We could sand it. We could paint it. We could spray paint it. We could do stencils. We could put stickers all over the car. Here is the final product, and it looks pretty cool. Um, and it, it looks good outside, too. I didn't want to uh, just have it in the garage. We actually drove it up to the store, and I'm going to tell you, everybody was looking. It was crazy. I actually felt kind of weird in it. That was the first time I really drove it in public. Um, and I'm going to tell you this. From driving my F-250 up there to this here, it's a huge difference. Basically, what we did, we just basically sanded it and prepped it for paint. Now, this is not I'm not some master painter. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never painted a car. So I was just smoothing it all out, trying to get, you know, at least that top layer off in order to use the Harbor Freight spray gun. But I don't know. We sanded it down and it kind of fits the car. It hides all the imperfections, like there's little dents and things and this and that. It hides all that and it kind of fits and it works with this kind of whole scheme of the car. I mean, I don't know. The thing is crazy. It has a Sharpie, Sharpie art trunk, a sticker bomb fender, a rusty hood, a splattered white roof and a hood stack so why would there be a uh, nicer or somewhat better paint job but this is how it's going to be for right now 
All right, guys, that's it. I'm in the uh, Craigslist Mercedes now. We did have a huge change of plans. I was initially going to paint the car, but after sanding it, it kind of fits it to leave it as that patina style, like the fake patina um, for right now. But like I said, it's always going to change. This thing is for having fun. I mean, like, who has a Bud Light tap as your shifter? Oh,